what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is jb23 vlog for today's video guys i would like to share on how to test the thermostatic valve the lifting of the valve of the thermostatic valve guys of the generator engine uh, of the jacket cooling water high temperature cooling of the generator engine guys so as you can see that's the spot where we disassemble the thermostatic valve assembly so that's the cooling outlet part of the generator in which we are cleaning the faces of the of the contact faces of the assembly so as for always guys before carrying out of the certain job we have to secure the engine properly so in this job guys we need to close the starting air system we have to block the air start starting air system the fuel the loop oil and of course the cooling water guys we need to close the inlet all the cooling water of the engine guys uh, starting air system and you have to close and to secure everything and then after that we need to carry out the lockout and tag out procedure yeah, we need to post the safety warning signs so this is the inlet valve of the cooling water the pre-warming valve As you can see guys now we we will double check the where to secure so that's the air starting valve so this is the fuel lever for starting position we need to put into stop position guys and then after that we can proceed with our maintenance so as per manual guys we need to check regularly at the frequency of at least once every six months so this is the assembly of thermostatic assembly so i'd like to show to you guys how to test how we test of the the thermostatic valve so that's the gaskets joints that we already prepare so this is it and we will test the thermostatic valve assembly so we use the hot plate portable hot plate guys but it's not enough to heat up to 90 degrees so we use the acetylene torch oxy oxygen acetylene guys the in order to boil the pot so that we will see how it lift and what's the lifting distance or the length of lifting as you can see guys the thermostatic has begun to begin to lift so at the temperature of around 95 degrees it has lifted yes as you can see that's the thermostatic valve is start lifting as you can see also at the temperature is around 95 degrees yes it's around 90 degrees guys it's around 90 degrees so before carrying out with this kind of job guys you need to read the instruction book yeah, regardless of what kind of generator we must to read um, there is a specific instruction how much the lift lifting valve of the thermostatic guys so what is the function of this thermostatic valve guys this is to uh, definitely to maintain the cooling water temperature of the engine so this is to maintain uh, at about 80 to 90 degrees of the engine depending on the stroke of the engine if it is uh, with a long stroke engine it has to maintain 80 to 90 but uh, in this kind of engine guys uh, we are maintaining up to 80 degrees to 85 degrees 
so the lifting is about around to five millimeter so this is Yanmar engine guys and we confirmed that these thermostatic valves are fully operational so these valves are in good working condition at its optimal performance so you need to check also guys all the abnormalities cracks in the formation and in this figurement and in other abnormalities uh, in the physics so when we are finished we have to assemble this and to fit back in the engine so this is how it is we have to clean properly then assemble back the engine So that's how it looks guys the thermostatic valves so that's it and until here guys i hope you learned something about this video guys if you are interested in this kind of topic all about marine engineering videos please don't forget to hit me the like share and subscribe guys stay safe everyone this is chevy 23 blog bye bye